Hi, I'm Eric McCroskey, and we're Propo, Operations Strategic Advisors, working with Fortune 500 organizations that are committed to the safety of their employees, their customer experience, and differentiating through the heart of their operations. Eight offices, 15 years experience, advice backed by science. Today, given the global pandemic, COVID-19, we're doing an overtake on all of our channels to provide real world advice for leaders that need to figure out how to stay stable, stay coarse, and protect their employees and customers through these difficult times. This channel will provide at least daily advice and ideas. We encourage you to go to our other social sites for more insights. Thank you. As we navigate through this pandemic and this black swan event, one of the items that I encourage organizational leaders to look at is to reduce points of failures. Let me explain. If you've got one trading floor or one large contact center, you should never have these people work side by side. Split them, different location, different spots, so that if you end up having to quarantine an office, you haven't shut down your business. Yes, remote work is essential if you can't get it. In certain environments, like for utilities, you have control rooms where people need to show up. At a nuclear reactor, people can't just work from home. So start thinking about redundancies, splitting key, re key resources to make sure that nothing spreads and that you don't end up with a total lack of capabilities on particular ships. Think about all the potential ways you can introduce this so that you don't have single points of failure. And just one of the things that's key to making sure that we navigate effectively through this pandemic. A lot of organizations already have great business resiliency plans. That's fantastic. Hopefully you already have this, but if you haven't, start thinking about implementing this today. Keep coming back to this video blog for more ideas on how to navigate through this Black Swan event.